All right, here at Breen Marine, we got this 2019 uh, Cub Cadet. This is the Challenger MX model, uh, 550. So we're gonna go over the condition of this unit real quick and show you all the different features and condition wise. So we'll start up here in the front. It's got this crash bar right here. The Cub Cadet logo right here. Uh, this is a, in a camo color. It does have an uh, electric winch up front and the button is in there. Um, I'll turn on the lights and show you, but this, this light right here uh, flickers, so that doesn't work that well, and I'll show you here in a second. Um, up here, we got adjustable suspension, disc brakes, um, arm bar gar guards, okay, radiator right there. You can kind of get a look at condition-wise. Could use a little bit of a better cleaning, because um, this has been in the mud, so there it is does have dirt caked in places. These also do have blinkers because these can be made street legal. I'll pop this open to show you in here real quick. So in here, you get access to your heater, coolant right there, air box, fuse panel. Quick look in there. And you make sure you do this right and don't be like me and it, it slides underneath these little hooks. All right, we got one mirror on the side, does have that uh, plastic window and sides on this. You can see tires up here, great condition. Here's a look at this door and I'll show you more condition when we get there, but there is a little bit of a gap on this door so it's a little bit bent right there. Uh, still closing everything, but just a little bit of a gap where you'll get some wind in there. Um, dump bed on this, hold that, hydraulic tilt, and kind of look at the engine and the rear diff back here. Take a look inside there just to get a little condition. So it is a little bit dirty. We've cleaned it, but you know mud when you try to clean it just doesn't like to come off all the time. Rear tires here, great condition. Does have the rear, so this is full enclosed. Just really nice, especially with that heater. Tailgate. Down here, got your exhaust. Diff back here. Uh, max towing weight's 1,200 pounds. So you can tow a little trailer with this. Rear tires look to be good in condition. I'll show you this side side door right here. These these doors have a little bit of like almost like a little pitting on them, so you can see all these little dots. Might be hard to see on camera. They're pretty clear, so you can still see out of these easy enough. Um, but we just want to point out everything on this thing so you know what you're looking at. And so here's a kind of look at the interior from the passenger side. And that door a little bit just on the lower edges and stuff. Fuel fill is right on this side. Same thing with this front window. Just a little bit of speckled dots on them. You can see right here, this one's got a lot right here. It'll be really hard to see on camera. Maybe if I put my hand there, it'll be a little easier. But just expect a little bit of dots around here. You, As you can tell on camera, you can still see through them and everything. All right, so we get in here. This is a two-seater. Looks like some wear on the metal right there. You climb inside here. Got cup holders on the side of me. The seats are in great condition. And a nice waterproof material. Got a glove box over here. So a glove box right there. Looks like this 12-volt outlet right here. Yep, 12-volt outlet. Some big storage spaces. Ebig right there shifter and we got our winch out and in we'll turn this on so you can hear that so that's all working uh, front diff lock rear diff lock and four-wheel drive switch and then we'll click on these lights here uh, it also has a hazard and turn signals right there keys right here heater controls are right here i'll show that better when we're out driving but i want to show you these lights here so with the running lights on, 
you can see these bottom ones work those ones are dimmed but on this side they are on and then I'll go flip on the rest of the switches the rest of the lights work so those are on and low and this is high so your high beams do work so you'll be able to see and then off and then your hazards so you can see those switch on All right, we'll start it up here and let you listen to it. I'll unclip this, point it so you can see. open to show the engine compartment so you just take this seat off like this right here you can access the battery so battery access right there compartment right there Get a good look at that all right we'll go take it for a spin Hop in the passenger, go grab this. You have to put your seatbelt on for it to actually, for it to actually move fast. But you can kind of hear what it sounds like in here. Pretty quiet, it's really nice because no, no wind or anything. A little bit of a draft comes through that gap over here, but nowhere near. If it was raining bad, you wouldn't get wet in here. Right here's your heater controls. Turn the heaters on. They do work. And then our four-wheel drive. We'll show that working. So our parking brake off. Shift it down. It's reverse, neutral, high, and low.
that gives you kind of the run of it. Four wheel drive, everything works on it. You hear them switch on. But everything seems to be running good. We just did the oil change on it, so oil change up to date. Um, as you can see in the pictures, it's got, I believe it has around 88 hours. It's got 470 miles on it. And 90.5 hours. So, there you have it. Pretty good setup, cheap. Seems to run good and fully enclosed, so. Make a great hunting rig and going around the yard and stuff, so come check it out here at Green Marine.